Here is WNCW. We are here in Studio B. I'm Martin Anderson, and live sessions are brought to you by Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Our engineer, Sean Rubin, is here with a full student crew doing the filming. You can watch this video on Facebook right now, WNCW's Facebook page. And I'm live with Amont Vales. Welcome. Thank you so much. (laughs) Great to have you here. Uh, It is uh, Molly Rochelson on the guitar, and uh, we have Sally Bice on the banjo, and we have their harmonies. I'm looking forward to hearing you two and getting to know uh, the Montvales. So why don't we start with a song? Sure. All right. Tennessee like a thief on the run Hauling her bleeding heart across the country like a loaded gun Oh, Louise, are you the same kind of trouble as me? Can I hold your hand out on the road? And the life of heartbreaking cold But little girl, you didn't bet on the call None of them fails felt like home To sing is like an old country jukebox. It's a big old world, oh, but we'll work with what we've got. Ride or die, ready or not. It's the Mont Vales on WNCW, live here in Studio B. Oh, Louise. Who is this Louise? It kicks off through your album, Heartbreak Summer Camp. Is this someone you knew? No? <laughs> is it one of you? <laughs> it's kind of both of us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's a mystery. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. She's a metaphorical woman we want to run away with slash become. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I get it, yeah. We got this album a little bit ago, and uh, and uh, that's the first tune on it. I think I just played it yesterday, and I was wondering, you know, who is this Louise, and <laughs> what inspired this? And uh, you all have uh, uh, are from Knoxville, kind of got your start there, what, playing the streets of Knoxville, the small clubs, and uh, how did you all meet up? Well, we've been friends since we were about 13. Um we became friends during a Martin Luther King Day parade, hmm. and it stuck. <laughs> we, <laughs> our parents introduced us. Yeah. Okay. Our parents were social workers together in Knoxville back in the day. Um, yeah, and it wasn't too long before we started playing music together. Uh, the harmonies really stand out. Is, it, uh, is that kind of what happened? It was like you, you're singing together, and you realize, wow, we got a little magic here. Yeah, I think we've just been singing together so long that, like, they, I don't know, we, I feel like we do have kind of a familial thing happening, even though we're not related by blood, like our, our voices kind of matured at the same time. So maybe, yeah, I don't know. And we're also like from this very specific place together, I think. Right. What Knoxville and parents were, um, what, what kind of work did they do? Social work. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Social workers. Yeah. Um, and, uh, had you, 
played uh, with with other folks before? Or was this you two getting together kind of the first time? Yeah, we'd played some. Um, we played a lot of like youth group coffee house type things as we were starting out. So there would be like a whole variety of people playing, but we were the most consistent playing together. Right. Um, and yeah, community radio was a big part of that too. Like very early on, we went busking together and somebody from WDVX in Knoxville was like, come play on my show. So we were very encouraged in that way. And that helped us keep it going. I noticed you, you, you recognized WDVX on one of your website or somewhere and I give a thumbs up. They're good folks. And uh, that's one of the things we like to do with public radio. Community radio is to find local musicians and and share their music. Uh, so you all have moved to Cincinnati, what, it's been about a year or so? Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. yeah. Bigger city, Cincinnati. Yeah. It's been great. It's been really, they've, it's been really good to us there. Uh-huh. Um, there's a very cool little, like, Americana scene happening there. Um, for a long time, we had heard about this band, The Tillers, there and like had both seen them like as young teenagers. And when we moved to Cincinnati, everybody was like, oh, that's where The Tillers live. Huh. And, um, and we just like by happenstance ended up friends with most of them and we just got to open for them um this past weekend and it was really lovely and i think yeah just kind of through them have been brought into this whole scene there of just really talented songwriters and yeah. people who are very excited about music for the sake of music it's funny you mentioned them i, I was i was going to ask about them cuz you one of your uh, photos on i think your facebook page has photo of the tillers and it's like well, gee, I was I was just about to play them yesterday, along mm-hmm. with you and the the o. Louise song, and uh, I didn't I haven't gotten to them yet. But we got their album, uh, I guess, a couple three years ago, and I yeah. uh, just thought, oh, I haven't played the Tillers in a while. Let me play that. And uh, but here you guys know them, and and they've kind of rubbed off on you somehow. Yeah, they're wonderful. They have been so welcoming to the Cincinnati music scene, and we the show we just got to play with them was kind of a homecoming for them. They hadn't been able to play all together in Cincinnati in a little while. And um, the community there loves them, and it's just a lot of fun. Great. Well, you all are in our community to play tonight in Brevard at 185 King Street. That's right. A little venue there in Brevard, North Carolina. It's-